Do you choke when you see you got to spend 30 bucks for a 12 inch gear track? Well, option three of the do it yourself utility track is elegant and only costs five bucks to replace it. Stay tuned. 30 bucks, 30 bucks for 12 inches of gear track. No, no, you don't have to do that because in option three, I've got an elegant solution for you that's aluminum, it's rust proof, and is going to look as good as this. And so here's where we've been on the last couple of videos. In my first video, I talked about taking some square tube and cutting a groove down the middle, and that'll work just fine. And that two feet of tubing costs, I don't know, six, six, to, six to nine bucks. Then you could take that same tube if you don't have a grinder and basically just drill holes where you want your accessories to go and achieve the same thing. But this is going to rust. You're going to have to paint it. And a number of folks who are obviously woodworkers wrote in on the comments and said, hey, just use T-Track. T-Track is something woodworkers use to clamp down accessories they use to hold material for woodworking. And so I did. I went out to Home Depot and I had to order it. It wasn't in the store. I ordered it to ship the store so I didn't have to pay shipping. And this is what showed up. Look at that. It's beautiful. And you get two of these for a total of four feet for 20 bucks. So half of this is a foot. So $5 replaces this. Now there are a couple of differences in terms of how you have to mount that. And then, so let's talk about that right now. You notice here on the gear track, they've got a thousand holes along both sides. And their intent, of course, is for you to, to basically just drill little holes and use the screws that come with it to attach this to your kayak. And by having all those screws in there, they achieve a tight fit. On the gear tr on the uh, T-Track, you see it already has holes maybe every four inches or so. So you could duplicate that by drilling additional holes. However, there's a trick to this. You need to use well nuts really to get a, a good solid attachment. And most well nuts, when you buy them, come with a pan head screw like this. And this will go in with just a little push and it's all the way through. However, you can't get your accessories in here because the head of the pan is going to interfere. So you have to use a flat head screw like this. So if you look real close here, you can see that it's got kind of a countersink and when you put the flathead screw in there it's going to be nice and smooth and you'll be able to slide your accessories in. Now I like using well nuts because I believe that that's the most uh, strongest, most strongest, the strongest way to attach something like this but you could also again drill some holes and you'd have to do it in two stages. You drill the first hole that would fit the screw you're going to use tightly and then take a larger bit and then countersink that a little bit so you can get that pan head, uh, the flathead screw all the way down there. Now there's, some, there's a trick to using these. This will fit quarter inch and five sixteenth inch uh, bolts. However, your accessories usually use quarter inch twenty. And so here's the typical quarter inch twenty that I got off a uh, Scotty gear track adapter and you can see the problem here is how thick it is and it doesn't really go into one of these T-tracks so what you have to do is buy these T-bolts and again I had to order these from Home Depot and what they look like is this and I ordered the quarter inch 20 version they also come in 5 sixteenths which you could use if you're making your own accessories and these will go in easily and you can mount all your accessories using these and if they're and uh, I could only find the quarter 20s in inch and a half so if you needed it to be shorter you'd need to cut this off with a hacksaw and here's where you end up here's a, a utility uh, track adapter Here's a hack using my PVC gearhead adapter and you can see both of these will fit just perfectly 
on this T-Track. And again, I use the quarter inch 20 T-bolts. Now, all, all you need to cut this is a hacksaw, which is another benefit. You don't need a, a fancy grinder to, to grind out the middle. And it's aluminum, so it's never going to rust. <laughs> this is amazing. So thank you, woodworkers, for keying us all to this option. And for my, my viewers in Australia, uh, there is a place in Australia, I can't find the link, someone put it in the comments, where you can order this locally and not have to pay a bazillion dollars Australian in shipping. Any other ideas? I think this is a winner. I'm going to use this to, to do a big steering modification to my Jackson Cousa FD, and I know it's going to hold just fine. Comments? Throw them down below. Thanks.